In this video you are going to learn Enterprise Resource Planning or ERP. Let's start the video. ERP is a platform company uses to integrate all the core business operations required to run a company. Core business operations are basically finance, human resource, manufacturing, supply chain, procurement, services, etc. ERP helps to manage all these operations in an integrated system effectively. It provides transparency into your complete business process by tracking all logistics, financials, and production aspects. It also provides customizations for your specific industry. Without an ERP application, each department would have its system optimized for its specific tasks. With ERP software, each department still has its system, but all of the systems can be accessed through one application with one interface. I have discussed MRP1 and MRP2 in my previous videos, check those video links in the description. How ERP Works Enterprise Resource Planning or ERP system is made up of integrated modules or business applications that communicate with each other and share a common database. Every ERP module typically focuses on one business area, but they work together using the same data to meet the company's needs. There are many components such as finance, HR, accounting, procurement, sales, logistics, and supply chain, companies can choose the module they want, and can add on and scale as required. Once all departments are linked to the system, all data is collected on the server and becomes instantly available to those with permission to use it. It can generate reports with metrics, graphs, or other visuals and aids a client might need to determine how the business and its departments are performing. Various Types of ERP Number 1. On-Premise ERP It is hosted on the company's own computer, and maintained on-site in physical office space within an organization. In this type, the company is fully responsible for security, maintenance, upgrades, and other fixes. 2. Cloud-based It is a cloud-based ERP system that runs on remote servers and is managed by a third party. It will provide great flexibility to access information and reports from anywhere with just an internet connection. There are multiple deployment options for cloud-based ERP, that are single-tenant and multi-tenant. Single-tenant, it is a separate model of the ERP, used by a single company that does not share server space with others and provides the client greater control over the software. It requires an in-house IT team to manage the operations. Multi-tenant, with a multi-tenant model, Multiple organizations use the same software instance and server. It doesn't need any in-house IT team. Number 3. Hybrid. Hybrid ERP merges characteristics of on-premises and cloud deployments. The hybrid system is a two-tier ERP, where a business maintains its on-premises ERP in place at headquarters, but avails cloud systems for associates or regional offices. It gives the flexibility to turn to cloud systems for certain business requirements, while sticking with their on-premises systems for other functions. 4. Open Source It is like other inexpensive or sometimes free open source solutions that are suitable for some small-scale businesses. Various open source ERP providers allow businesses to download their software for free. They will then be charged a minimal annual fee for cloud access. For this, you need a person with deep knowledge of how to configure and develop the software. Now come to the advantages of enterprise resource management. Improves accuracy and productivity. Integrating and automating business processes eliminates excess effort and improves accuracy and productivity. Departments with interconnected processes can synchronize work to achieve faster and better outcomes. Improves reporting. Some businesses benefit from enhanced real-time data reporting from a single source system. Correct and complete reporting help companies adequately plan, budget, forecast, 
and communicate the state of operations to the stakeholders. Improved efficiency. ERP allow businesses to quickly access needed information for clients, vendors, and business partners. With improved planning, the ERP system delivers a huge increase in the efficiency of day-to-day -day and routine transactions such as order completion, on-time shipment, seller performance, quality management, invoice reconciliation, sales completion, etc. Cross-department collaboration. The more divisions your enterprise has, the more critical it is to manage internal communication techniques to avoid errors. And if your enterprise has branches all over the world, you must need a strategy for everyone to stay in touch across time zones and language barriers. With ERP communication tools, you can manage scanned documents, files, emails, texts, and phone call recordings. Data security. Your company deals with a lot of sensitive data. An ERP system provides security by keeping all your important and secret documents and communications in one place. Cloud ERP use cutting-edge security protocols to assure your company doesn't fall victim to harmful attacks. Disadvantages of Enterprise Resource Planning Complexity and Risks of Failure Sometimes, ERP projects are not successful because business processes and data requirements are found to be too complex during the requirements gathering method, and employees are forced to take part in change management. Because of a long deployment method, the ERP system might not keep speed with modifications that the business needs to make in a dynamic environment of intense competition. Costly and infrastructure needed. Setting up an on-premise ERP system requires a huge investment in hardware, software, and its teams. Traditional on-premise and hybrid ERP requires on-site servers and networking infrastructure in the data center of the company. Not only that, servers must be powerful enough to handle huge amounts of data. Companies also need a strong and effective security system to protect every data. Long deployment period. The process of deployment of any ERP system requires a long period of time, as it involves many functions, departments, and changes. Employees also take time to get comfortable with this system. If you want to read in details or download the PDF, go through the link in the description. Like the video, it will motivate me to make more videos for you, and don't forget to subscribe to Education Leaves.